If you've read my panfish book or attended any of my seminars, you've heard me say that fishing for panfish species such as yellow perch, white perch, crappie, or sunfish will make you better at catching bigger species such as rockfish and bass. Here's why. Many of the artificial lure techniques that we use for panfish are very similar to the methods we use to catch big stripers. By now you know that I recommend two primary pan fishing approaches. The first is a float and fly and the other is a tandem rig consisting of very light jigs, usually soft plastics. <laughs> Catching fish on a tandem rig isn't difficult, but to be really good at it, you need to develop your sensitivity or tune in. In other words, think down the line so that you can almost see in your mind the rocks, stumps, or shells your lures come in contact with when they touch the bottom. Once you get to the point where you're feeling the bottom and identifying what your lure might be touching, it's relatively easy to recognize the often minute tap of a panfish strike. That's exactly what we do when we're jigging artificial lures for rockfish. Sometimes the strike of a huge striper might feel lighter than the tap tap of a tiny bluegill. We often miss a lot more fish than we catch, oh and it's usually because we don't feel the strike. Just like with rockfish, sensitive rods coupled with smooth reels make it easier to think down the line. Trust me on this one. If you can feel the tap of a half pound yellow perch on a 132nd ounce jig head, you're probably not going to have any problem setting the hook on a one ounce jig into a 30 pound striper. Thanks for watching the Chesapeake Minute. Please take some time to like and subscribe because that lets YouTube know that you're watching. And now, let's go fishing.